leaving school to go get surfboards. <laughs> Here to pick up the boards, we're gonna check it out. Custom handshape boards. So we ordered them, picked out the dimensions, and uh, let's go check it out. Keely showed off. What do you think? Keely's first custom surfboard. Oh, is that yours? All right, well, bring it here. Let's check it out. Swallowtail with wings, huh? Grant, you're up. What do you got? Let's see your board. All right, oh, check, yeah, check out the fins. You got five pins set up. It's a wide diamond tail, huh? 6 0. If I stand on the thing, I'm teed it forward. Five pin set up. What's up guys, got my new board, my first new board in a long time, first brand new or hand shaped board. Just gonna talk about it, it's a 5.6, so it's like the same height as me. It is 19 inches wide and it's two and one eighth inches thick, so kind of a, kind of a thin surfboard. It's got a really cool tail on it, it's my first time trying it, it's called a diamond tail. It's called a flat iron because it has no rocker. So it's a small wave board, goes really fast. And then I got it with a five fin setup with FCS so I can ride it as a thruster as a quad or even they have setups where you ride it with all five with a really small tiny trailing fin. This is my board. Crazy bullet shape. It's a 5.5 five by eight, 19 by 2. A nice volume. Thick in the nose. I use a wing tail. Hopefully I'll tell you how it works uh, pretty soon. Little little damage so the paddle thick. Hey, what's up? My new board, five five three. And it's eight. It's eighteen inches. Eighteen inches wide. And two inches thick. Roster. Hey, what's up guys? So basically my surfboard is the exact same thing as Lorenzo's board, the 6.0, two and a half inches thick and nine, uh, 20 inches wide. And anyways, in our next video, we will all go and try them out. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up and uh, check out the next video and we'll uh, test them out and we're gonna exchange boards and 